Welcome. How y'all doing? Episode two. <laughs> Episode two today on the Spreaker, Spreaker, Sprocker. There's a reason why I do what I do and say what I say. Ah, if that one goes out there to the Minnesota Menace, which is the title of today's episode, Minnesota Menace. <laughs> Should I or shouldn't I reveal who this Minnesota Menace really is? Like, is there even a reason for me to even give any kind of acknowledgement to him? I mean, let's face it. I mean, th- this dude, he's a pathetic loser. He really is. But before I get into it today, um, guys, if you missed our first episode yesterday, Who Am I? It is still up on our Spreaker channel, and it is also re-uploaded to our YouTube channel, Arrow Entertainment. So if you are on YouTube, if you watch YouTube a lot, hop on over to our channel, Arrow Entertainment. Follow, subscribe, like, hit that notification bell over there. So, these episodes that I do over here on Spreaker, I do the, the freebie podcast. There, there are many, you know, it, it, it's the mini version. It's 15 minutes long. I'm like, I'm not going to pay out as much money as this hypocrite that I'm getting ready to talk about here. But I figure these are now called our Spreaker mini pods that we're uploading on YouTube. So you can go back and rewatch those if you guys want. So, also... I also stream through Twitch, that TV slash Arrow with a name. I haven't really felt like streaming this week because I had a lot going on. And plus, like today, I, I was thinking about streaming. I was thinking about doing like a game or something. I was thinking about doing an episode of Tuned In Live, but don't really have much to say. I really don't know what to talk about. I don't know what to do. So I'm just sitting here, you know, just like, you know what, let me do, go ahead and do episode two, Minnesota Menace. So there's this guy who claims to be contracted right here on Spreaker. Spreaker is a online platform that is a subsidiary of iHeartRadio, or it says from iHeartRadio. So technically, you don't really work for iHeart. You really don't have a contract for iHeart. Spreaker is just a... iHeart is a parent company to Spreaker. That's the other kind of phrase. You know, it's just a... It's a parent company. Oh, that's what iHeart is. You know, they, they they spawn out, they spread out. You know, they take others in under their wing. You know, and then it's like boom. You know, this is for podcasting. You know, podcasting is becoming a very big thing nowadays. And you got to know how to podcast. You got to know what it takes to be a podcaster. And I've been doing this for the last two years. You know, podcasting. Like I've taken notes from different podcasters. I've watched different shows. I've done different things, and I've gotten better as a podcaster. And one thing I, I will mention uh, to this guy, Jeffrey, you know, bitch boy radio, fear of monger and speculation, sports and stuff. There's one thing to a podcast that you really shouldn't do because it makes you more of a disgusting human being is to sit there and stuff and <laughs> and eat and drink and blow your nose while doing a podcast. You know, a podcast is one or more persons that get together and they talk about different topics or a particular topic. You know, something that really interests people into, you know, gets gets them into the show, gets them into the podcast, you know. Nobody wants to sit there and hear, mm, this is a good burger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Burger King. Got the Whopper today. Yeah, got me a big soda too. Diet Coke. Listen. Oh yeah. Ugh. Nobody wants to hear that, dude. You're sixty some years old. You are what people consider a boomer. I don't really go by that shit. You know, you're a human being just like the rest of us. But you're very hypocritical. You're somebody who stays in the past. You're probably somebody who supports the Holocaust. You're probably somebody who supports Nazis. You probably support slavery. Who knows? This is the kind of person he is. Jeffrey, Minnesota. Speculation Sports. So, I was watching the, the most recent thing that he put up uh, today as of uh, March 4th, 2022. He did a half-hour 
uh, video. He calls it his podcast. It's my video podcast. It's on my video platform. It's on YouTube. As much shit as this guy talks when he dogs down YouTube, he's like, oh, if you want to be a podcaster, you shouldn't do it on there. You should do it on Spreaker. You should do it here. Like, dude, you don't know a whole lot of shit about anything, do you? You really don't. So this dude, he does a half-hour show. And he's talking about, he, he's rambling about uh, a buddy of mine, um, Jeff Haggy, Haggy Rants, you know, who's on YouTube. He has a show on Twitch, twitch.tv slash the Jeff Haggy show. You know, he, he goes live every Friday. You know, he's a hilarious guy. He's a good buddy of mine. And this dude, you know, the Minnesota menace, you know, he complained. Well, he doesn't really, compl- well, he so- yeah, he does complain. His latest complaint is, oh, well, I call him Anus Breath. Anus Breath over there on Twitch. Oh, uh, you got to subscribe to to watch his videos now. You got to subscribe to watch his videos. That's that's not normal, you know. Like I don't think I don't think anybody should do that. Like who are you to give somebody advice? Who are you to tell somebody how they should and shouldn't run their channel? I mean, everything is public forum. Yes, there's a reason why if you want to go back and rewatch Jeff's previous streams, you got to play the game, right? You got to pay to play, right? Is what you you're always saying, pay to play. So you know, Jeff does has a reason why his videos, his past streams on Twitch, has a paywall. Where if you want to rewatch them, you got to subscribe to Prime. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with making money online, is there? Now, now, Jeffy Poo, right? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Minnesota Menace. You want to talk about him making money off Twitch. A lot of people make money off Twitch. A lot of people make money off of YouTube. You know, it, it, it is, uh, it's not really a living. I know some people out there that play the game, you know, as you call it, they make a lot of money. Look at all these big-time YouTubers like um, Kid Behind the Camera, PewDiePie, Boogie2988, uh, Markiplier, all these big streamers all these big gamers and i know you're against gaming you hate people who game because they're loners that live in mom's basements you know they don't know how to go out and work they don't have a life they don't know how to look outside the front door or look outside the window and experience a whole new life but yet you're somebody who's always there to judge someone else to falsely judge somebody else about it you know, you, you, you even come on to me, you're like, you, you look at my shit, and you obsess over me now, and you're like, he sits at home playing video games, streaming them on Twitch, streaming on YouTube, mm, let me get a sip of my sippy poo here, let me try, sip my soda, and, and, and eat my burgers, and, and all kind of shit on a podcast, like, dude, that's like rule number one right there, when you're doing a podcast, don't do something disgusting, like blow your nose, or eat a burger, or, or, or whatever. That, that, that Nobody wants to see that shit. Nobody wants to hear that shit. Mute the mic or something, you know? Go to a commercial break or something. You know, that's what actual people do when they do podcasts. That's what I do when I do a podcast. If i got to step away and i got a co-host, I say, hey, take over. I'll be right back. Or I go to a commercial break. You, on the other hand, you're just a disgusting human being. That, 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 that's all you are. So I'm looking at your previous thing on one of your channels, and that's another thing. You got two different channels on YouTube. You got four different platforms you go to. You you stay on Spreaker, then you go to what is it, the Toe Show or something? You know, some website, Toe something, whatever. Who gives a fuck? Toe fungus. You look like Toe fucking fungus. And then you got two other channels on YouTube, and you upload like five different quote-unquote podcast a day the most recent one i'm looking at current events hi jeff haggy like you're reaching out to somebody who looks at you and tells you to fuck off who doesn't really give two shits about you who doesn't watch your garbage you know who doesn't who doesn't pay attention you know you're, you're a hashtag who that's all you are dude you're a hashtag who nobody gives a shit but yet you obsess over grown men. You're 60 some years old. You're obsessing over other grown ass men with lives. Look at you. What do you do for a living? I'll make girl. I'll make a lot of girl. You look like somebody who lives off of your wife's welfare. That's all that is. 
you know, you sit there in your wife's sewing room, you know, on your computer, and then here you are, you're out driving around in your brand new uh, Mercedes or Cadillac or whatever the fuck you want, and, and I, I heard your recent thing, oh, I want to buy a Tesla, I want to buy a Tesla. Oh, so you're one of those retards out there that's like, oh, I want to be environmentally friendly, not everybody can afford a electric car, but hey, get in the game, you gotta pay to play, da-da-da-da, you know, gasoline kills, yeah. So, th- 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 this guy, his biggest claim to fame is chasing the clout off of people who do this as a hobby. This, to me, is a hobby. I don't see this as a job. I'm not making money off of doing podcasts like these. You know, I do them for fun. I, I-, I love doing them. I love to talk. I love to interact with people. I do have a job, buddy boy. I do have a job. I work at nights. Or is that something that completely slipped your mind? Well, then again, you did have a stroke about four years ago. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure your brain's about half fried. You can't even really think straight now nowadays anyway. But there are people that work at nights that do get shit done at nights. I work over 40 hours a week working nights, making a very good living. I'm not making no 725 bullshit. I'm not making $10 an hour. I'm making way more than that, dude. I work nights. Then I come home in the morning, yeah, I get my sleep in, you know, I gotta rest up, right? <laughs> gotta rest up, then I get up in the afternoon, what am I doing? Hmm, let's see, I do check on and make sure the kids are good, you know, I check in on my fiance, you know, we get things done during the day, we go grocery shopping, do whatever, take the kids to the park, do things with the kids, and yes, I do play video games, it's a hobby, yes, if I got time... If nobody else is doing anything, everybody has hobbies. People have hobbies. It's something that you don't understand. Something you've never looked into. You talk about, I used to play uh, video games back in the day. Yeah, Pac-Man, Asteroids, (laughs) da-da-da. Good for you. You want a fucking cookie? Here's something you got to understand, dude. Video games nowadays is a hobby for everybody. Video games are made for all ages. Kids and adults. There's even adults in their 50s and 60s that play video games. Why don't you go debate that with a lot of your friends, huh? Debate that with a lot of people that are around your age. And why don't you tell them, oh, you shouldn't be uh, playing video games. They, they warp your brain. Why don't you do some research into video games, Jeffy, off or, you know, Minnesota Menace? Why don't you do some proper research? You know, do, do you have enough brain functionality to actually look online or read up somewhere? Mr. Oh, I'm a, I'm a conservative, but, uh, oh, yeah, you must be a far-right liberal. Uh, you, you support Trump. Uh, 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 let's support Biden. That, that, that's all this idiot is. You know, he, he reports on this shit, and he's like, uh, you must be a Republican. You support Trump. You're a loser. You're a loner on YouTube. You stream on Twitch. You play video games. You don't have a job. Like, dude, you slander about everybody online you slander about everybody but nobody fucking cares because you're a worthless loser you're a loser nobody gives a shit about you what does your opinion matter minnesota menace jeffrey up there in minnesota speculation sports radio Fear monitoring radio. I got a contract through iHeartRadio. <sighs> Dude claims to be conservative. You know what a conservative is, Jeffrey? Do you know what a conservative is? I'm a conservative. I'm neutral. A conservative is somebody who's in between both the Democratic and the Republican side. See, me... Even though I'd lean a little bit more to the Republican side because there are more Republicans that have actual brains than some or most Democrats, but I also can see a Democratic side too. You got to see both sides for what they are. Not all Democrats are as retarded as you, and not all Republicans are as smart as the human race. Both sides have their ups and downs. You, on the other hand, you like to blasphemy a lot of people 
you look at somebody who disagrees with you or disagrees with anything you say, and you're like, oh, you must be a Republican, you're a liberal, you're on the Republican side, you you wave that Confederate flag and support Trump and stuff, ooh, you must play video games at home, you, you, you must sit in your mom's basement, you've never seen the sun, you'll never have a girlfriend, you'll never get married. So th- this guy, his mentality is... If you're not like him, you are a far-right liberal Republican, and you're not normal. That's what's in this guy's, that's that's this guy's mentality. Like I said, this dude, and, and my co-host Mike, he used to be friends with this guy. <laughs> and I know he's listening. I know this guy's listening. You remember Gov, right, Jeffrey? You remember my buddy Gov? The guy that drove you insane. He drove you insane. Oh wow! And, and after that, you had a fucking stroke about it. Like you, you were just so deep into the shit, you had a stroke. And then, of course, you continue on. But even though your 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 brain is mostly probably fried, you know, all you do is fucking ramble on, ramble on, ramble on. You know, you, you think you're the Howard Stern of iHeartRadio. You think, oh, I'm like Howard Stern. I'm a speaker. I'm a famous, I'm a famous YouTuber, all. I look at your views, dude. Okay, this dude. Now, I'm not trying to compare him to me. Like, I know what my subscriber count is. I know what my views are. Like I said, I do this as a hobby. I'm a small-time YouTuber. It's something I enjoy for fun. This dude has two channels on YouTube. One of them I'm looking at right now. He's got, you know, 365 subscribers, secondary channel. He's got a banner up here. We speculate. Speculation sports, football, helmet, baseball, NHL. This is somebody who's come out and said, I don't talk about baseball. I don't give a shit about hockey. Yet, when you do a a supposed podcast... You call them podcasts. They're not podcasts. They're just you rambling on like a complete idiot. So I'm looking at this. You know, you're talking about, oh, New World Order, Russia versus Ukraine, Ukraine, the deport Donald Trump, NASCAR podcast. Yeah, yeah, drama, drama, driving to Las Vegas, the end of the world. I thought you were talking about speculation sports. I thought you were supposed to be a sports podcaster. You're somebody who talks shit on everybody. Like this whole, um, uh, deport Donald J. Trump, you know? You talk a little bit about Trump here or there, but then you go on into, oh, let me talk about anus breath here for a second over there on Twitch. Mm -hmm. Loner, yeah. Mm -hmm. Pasta mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. So this loner, mm -hmm. soupy poo. Yeah, so he streams video games to Twitch. Yeah, in his breath, yeah. Doesn't know how to get out of the house. Doesn't know how to make money. Mm, He's a loner for life. Oh, he ain't like me. I got a nice horse car. Mm, I live in the house. Mm, My wife, she works. I live off of welfare. Mm, Yeah, I get to drive around. Mm, My brand new Samsung phone that I paid $900 for. Oh, yeah. Mm, Yeah, I get to drive around, try to cause accidents while I'm fucking talking into a phone to nobody. Oh, I'm sorry. My biggest fan is one other person, a big drama starter piece of shit named Dave. Mm, Yeah. That's what this guy is. I look at all your I look at all your videos, man. Like I know my views ain't up there. I don't care. I really don't. You know, it's just there. People watch, people watch. It's it's okay. You know, this dude wants to talk about views and shit. Like, look at this. Okay. Highest I've seen so far. Let's see. Fifty three views. That was a video he did a month ago. Let's see. Uh, 20 views, 18, 15, 16, 16, 42. That's getting up there. 10 views, 34, 22, 19, 22, 14, 31, 21, 21. Let's see his recent one, 5. <laughs> because this guy is too busy chasing clout off of somebody who knows that they're not big, but they do it for fun. You know, my, my my buddy, you know, Jeff Haggy, he he does this shit for fun. You know, he he's he's got a lot of good people that come and they listen to him, you know, tell his stories, do 
you know, prank calls and stuff like that. He doesn't really do it to make money. The dude works just like me. You know, him and I, we both work 40 hour plus week jobs. You know, I mean, I know our schedules, you know, they differ, but we both work. We both have a, a, a life. You know, like, that's like with me. Like, you know, he tries to compare me to himself, you know, you know, old Minnesota Menace over there. Oh, oh, he's a loner in the basement. He plays video games all day. Why don't you go out and get married and have a life? I'm like, well, let's see. Hmm. I work a full-time job. I'm engaged to my fiancé, who I've known for over 20 years. You know, we both have two terrific kids. You know, we both work. You know, we spend time as a family. You know, we hang out. We do this. We do that. We go places. And we still have time to do the things we love as hobbies, you know. My hobby is video games. I also, you know, play music as well. And I stream. You know, I, I stream during the days. I pick different days to stream. It's a hobby of mine. I like doing it. And my fiance, she loves listening to me ramble. You know, she encourages me to stream. Whereas, I'm pretty sure, you know, old uh, Minnesota Minnesota, I'm pretty sure his wife's like... Ah, uh, there he goes, rambling on again about some random nobody on YouTube or Twitch. Uh, let me check out this other idiot's um, channel here. His main one. Okay, this is his main one. Oh my god. So this dude has 1.59 thousand subscribers. So you have close to 1,600 subscribers. 1,600 subscribers. And let's see the views on these videos. My God, can you even break 100? Well, let's see. There's one that's 107 views, but that's one for the trolls. There's another one that's for the trolls, 121. So it's like you, you, you found your pick in here. You, you, you found your, <laughs> your calling. If you report on drama, it gets you a little bit more views, but it gets you views from a drama community. You're not getting views from any of these other subscribers that are subscribed to you. Or maybe you haven't thought about it yet. Maybe half of your subscriber count, or maybe about 80% of your subscribers, are bought it. I mean, think about it. You were on YouTube for about, what, six, seven years? And you built yourself up by clout chasing other people. That's what, you know, I know a lot of people do that. You know, they try to figure out, okay... What's new? What's hip? What's trending? How can I build my channel up? It's, it's what people do. People do it. Yeah, it, it's it's an attention getter. Now, when it comes to something like YouTube or Twitch, and you talk about, oh, they're just looking for attention or looking for attention, of course. And I, I'm taking a, a page out of the book from um, one of my favorite YouTubers on here, uh, Boogie2988. He said, people look at me and say, you like to get attention. He's like, of course. Who doesn't like attention? You know, that's the purpose of it. You know, you, you, you seek attention, you know, of others. You know, who doesn't love attention? And I know, you know, Mr. Minnesota Menace over there, he does get the attention, but it's not the type of attention he wants. You know, if he, if he talks about, you know, uh, the, the Super Bowl this past year, you know, the Super Bowl last month, you know, He'll talk about that, he'll ramble about that, but he won't get any views. But if he's talking about Joe Blow over there on, on YouTube, and a lot of other people are talking about Joe Blow, his his views are going to double up from 5 to 10. <laughs> you know? So th this dude, you know, he's a ve he's very hypocritical. You know, he talks a lot of shit, he, he, he spews a lot of shit, but yet he chases a lot of clout. And then he, he trolls people. You know, he, he's a he's a big fucking troller. That's all he is. He's a fucking troll. That's all this guy is. So this guy, he chases my clout. He chases my buddy Jeff Haggy's clout. For what? That's like PewDiePie. Look at PewDiePie. I, I, I'll pull his channel up here. Okay, so cause I haven't checked... PewDiePie's channel in a long time. Okay, Mr. Speculation Sports Radio. Let's see. PewDiePie, one of the biggest, biggest YouTubers, making money off of YouTube, millions of dollars a year. 
who's live right now playing a game that I streamed last week. This dude has 111 million subscribers. Even though I thought it was over a billion or something. But he has 111 million subscribers. Compared to your 1,600 subscribers. That would be like if PewDiePie came over to my channel and he was like, who is this guy? You know, he's doing a a Spreaker mini pod podcast about some loser. I'm going to do a video on it. Hey, how you doing, guy? PewDiePie here. I'm going to talk about Arrow Entertainment. He's complaining over there about somebody called the Minnesota Menace. I don't know who he's talking about, but he's just rambling and rambling and rambling on. Do you really think, well, let's see, he's going to get views off of it. But then, I know, of course, I'll probably, I'll, I'll either get views off of it, too, because it'll be like, okay, who's this guy talking about? And then they come over and check my shit out, and they're probably like, yeah, this guy's boring, I'm not even going to bother with him. That's pretty much what you're doing. You're clout chasing off of me, you're clout chasing off of Jeff, you know, and, and where, where's that getting you? Five, six, seven views? That's about it. You're cloud chasing off of somebody with, with much a much lesser viewer base than you are. And, and and here's the funny thing. My content is actually getting triple the view count than your stuff is. Think about it. So maybe there's some things that you're doing wrong or that you're not doing, but then you look at people like me and my buddy Jeff and you're like, Oh, y'all don't know how to podcast. You gotta pay to play. I'm contacted. I'm contracted through iHeartRadio. Here's here's the difference between that. Before I end, okay? There's a difference between subscription based and contract based. Okay? If you were contracted through iHeartRadio with Spreaker, they would reach out to you and say, "Hey, we like your you we like your content. We would like to contract you for this amount of money. Put out this many podcasts. That's a contract." When you're paying out $200 a year to Spreaker to, you know, put more of your content on there, that's a subscription. That's not a contract. You're not contracted to Spreaker. You're subscribed to it, moron. There's a lot of things you got to learn, dude. And I know I didn't get everything out that I wanted to say about you, but you know what, dude? Before you end up losing another channel or losing more videos, I would suggest this. Lay low, back off, stick to your sports, because honestly, dude, no one gives a shit about you. And that's it for today's episode, guys. Thank you for watching. You guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Arrow Entertainment. This will be in a full half-hour form. Also, follow us right here on Spreaker.com and on Twitch.tv slash Arrow with a name. Guys, I will catch you next time for episode three. And until next time, stay tuned in.